Hello, in this text explanation video, I'm going to build an external SSD using a USB 3.0 enclosure and a 240 gigabyte Kingston A400 SSD. Um, I came up with this idea, I was looking for an external SSD and they were smaller than obviously one of these in an enclosure but they were significantly more expensive and the size wasn't as important to me but I figured I could save some money build one like this and it would have the advantage that it's more flexible I can use it as an external uh, internal SSD if I need an internal SSD so um, I got the Kingston A400 for $65 on an Amazon flash sale. Uh, it was only on sale for a few hours, so I, I managed to find one. And the Orico 2.5 inch USB hard drive enclosure. Um, I chose this brand because I already have one of these that I use for my uh, PlayStation 4. And so I just went with another one because I trust I trust them. Uh, it was ten dollars for this, so seventy-five dollars total. Whereas I was looking at a PNY external SSD, and it was ninety-nine dollars. Um, for it was smaller, but wasn't worth the extra cost to me. So let's get started opening this. Here is the enclosure in a protective little bag. Oh geez, I tore it. I did not mean to tear it. I got the blue version. Um, the one on my PlayStation 4 is silver. I decided to get a color one. Mix it up. And the USB cable. There we go. The USB cable out. Cool. What else is in the box? So it comes with two little foam pieces. Um, this is to keep the drive from rattling around because an SSD is seven millimeters, and I'm pretty sure this is for up to nine and a half millimeters. So you use these to fill in the space. Um, thank you for choosing Orico card. And the user's manual, which is not needed. Okay. So now, time to open the SSD. Let's see. Let's just tear the cardboard. Oh. oh. Out. It is actually a metal case on this Kingston SSD. Um, there you can see. Uh, I don't know if this will focus that close. Oh, come on, focus. Maybe if I get it in the center. 240 gigabyte Kingston A400. Take the enclosure. You slide off the back. Oh, geez. Then you just plug it in. Um, now technically, I guess for the sake of this video, I'll put some of the foam on. It goes right here. But, oh, I dropped it. But this part really isn't necessary because uh, it's an SSD, so... It, it's not gonna be prone to shaking like a, a hard drive would. I don't know. I'm about to give up on that. It's not even worth it. So we'll slide the cover on. There you go. External 240 gig SSD. Now.
Time to plug it in. Thank you for watching this Texplanation video.